YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today I am doing a video that Brent has been begging me to do. Yes. <laughs> so basically, I am going to let Brent pick my new man. So as you guys know, Brent is not the most supportive of me and Ben. And with that being said, he really wants to see what other options there are for me. So apparently, Brent has six guys here and they're going to come out, sit in these chairs right here. These guys are the best of the best. I hand selected the most intelligent, the best looking, and the most, um, uh, uh, I don't even know. Wait, All right, well, let's nice? hope that's true. Hopefully, Brent it finds me a, a great new man today. A brand new bae. So, let's bring out the boys. All right, so first, <laughs> we guys. have Mason, because um, I couldn't find anyone else. Okay, we have Derek. Derek. <laughs> All right, next up, we have, we have Josh. <laughs> yes. We have Josh. This is Josh. Next up is... Andrew! Andrew. Oh, so I couldn't do a dating <laughs> show without Andrew. Right. All right, next up we have uh, AJ. AJ! Right. <laughs> Last but not least we have, I want everyone to give a big boo for this one. What? We have Ben. Ben! <laughs> Wait, why is Ben playing when you said that you were trying to get me a new bed? Well, that's why he's playing because I want to show you that all of these guys are going to be better than Ben. Okay, so basically Brent is going to be asking each of these fine men yes. five questions, yes. okay? And after each question, he's going to be giving two points to the two people that answer the question the best. Then, so ask away, Brent. Okay, all right. So what is your idea of a romantic evening? I think the best romantic evening would probably have to be... Probably nice picnic, you know, <laughs> with some water. All right. Okay, so by the way, guys, I have no say in this. Brent is giving the points to each guy. I'm the one so. deciding. So I'd probably send, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Just leave now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, all right, Josh. We would uh, have to start with a nice little PCH drive, you know, just a simple oh, vibe. Nice. And then it ends up at the beach for a nice little picnic. Okay. Okay. So, all right, we'll go for Andrew. The good day would probably be like, you know, playing some board games like Monopoly or something. All right. You'll get to know each other pretty well. Uh, you know, I'm pretty simple. I like going to the movies, seeing a movie. AJ has a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Um, you know, I'm thinking like just Netflix Jill. Yeah, and that's why you're not being picked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to give the points to Derek and Josh. Let's go! All right, next question. What is your best pickup line? And be careful, because obviously I'm the one making the decision, you know, so don't be too weird with it. All right, Derek. So, Lexi, I know you don't like plums, but how about a date? <laughs> 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 if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. <laughs> oh. If you were a potato, you'd be a sweet one. Oh. Oh. Alright, Andrew. Alright, Lexi. My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it in. Like, it's hurt. <laughs> Ew! Ew! I'm gonna throw up. Hey, Lexi. Um, my name is Microsoft. Can I crash at your place tonight? <laughs> I'm telling your girlfriend. <laughs> um, so, oh, how sweet. Lexi, um, you know, you've had the, the three month trial. Um, would you like to renew your subscription? Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna have to uh, give that those two points to, um, I like AJ's a lot, the Microsoft one. We'll give Derek another point. Oh. Oh. Next question is, what do you look for in a girl? All right, so the first thing I do look for in a girl is a girl who can maybe get rid of spiders in the house because that is, um, I, I don't like spiders very much. <laughs> All right, next up is Mason. Uh, I don't know, honesty. Honesty, okay. Yeah. Okay. She'd have to be loyal, but independent as well. Never negative, always positive, and just outgoing. <laughs> uh, I like girls that like set goals for themselves and really go for it, what they want. All right, Ben, you're um, up. I like a, a girl's sense of humor. A girl can have a good laugh. Uh, a joke. Okay. okay. All right. Good. I'm gonna give one point to Josh, and then I'm gonna give, uh, I guess, the other point to Ben. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so next question is: Are you a cat or a dog person? And then I'm more of a cat person. So. <laughs> um, I think I'm more of like a like a dog guy. <laughs> Well, I'm allergic to cats, so I'm gonna be a dog person for sure. Uh, Andrew? Boring. Um, <laughs> probably a dog person, just cause you know, cats. I don't really like cats. And kind of dog, probably, I like huskies, you know, cause they have colored eyes. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Alright, uh, I'm uh, definitely a dog person. Um, I'm a dog person. Oh, no you're not. Yeah, don't, I am. Don't lie to them. 
You said dogs or cats. You didn't say animals or no animals. I'm a dog person, and if I had to get a dog, it'd be a uh, golden retriever. Stop oh. kissing my butt. Uh, it is. That's, that's kissing our butt right there. All right, so I'm gonna have to pick uh, Andrew and Ben. Yay! Yeah. All right, so the next question is, what are your intentions with my sister? Uh, I think my intentions are to just treat her very nice and um, like a queen. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess my intentions would be to, you know, be kind and always loving. Mm -hmm. Josh, you're up next. <laughs> uh, my intentions would be to treat her right, of course, and of course. just show her some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Andrew, you're up. My intentions, you know, just same thing, treat her right, you know, and get closer to her so I could get closer to Brent. <laughs> you know, uh, of course treat her right, but we're all trying to find our soulmates, and I just want to find the right one, you know? So, well, I thought you were with your soulmate. <laughs> you're gonna keep bringing that up. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm just trying to put a ring on it. Oh, oh, interesting. Wow. Interesting. I'm just kidding. Personally, I like Andrew's answer. So if you would get a point, okay. and then I liked Derek's answer, so he gets another point. Derek hey. gets another point. Hey. Okay, so that was it for this first round. Um, Basically, the two people that ended up with the lowest mm. amount of points were Mason and AJ. Wow. Oh, bye, guys. Everybody, everybody say their goodbyes. All right, you guys. So next up is the dancing round. So basically, you guys are each going to have have 10 seconds, um, you know, go in like the little circle, whatever, and show me what you got. All right, you guys ready for the dance off? Let's go! Show me what you got. <laughs> Yo! Time's up, time's up. That was pretty good. Okay, next up is Andrew. Go! Okay! Is going home from okay, this round. Okay, so this time I want to make it a little bit interesting. Everybody kind of bend down a little bit. What? Beep, beep, beep. What? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, here are our final three, and it is time for round three. <laughs> I still can't believe Ben is here at this point. I don't know why I'm still here. Okay, so basically, you guys are going to be telling your best jokes. Not only do you have to make me laugh, but you have to make Brent laughs, so it has to be pretty darn funny. Okay, do you guys have your jokes ready? Yes, yes we do. All right, I guess it's time to start round three. Brent. Yes. What's that? Okay. <laughs> did, did Macy come back for me? Macy got he got me, me flowers. So first up is Derek. He's going to tell me a joke and see if Brent and I laugh. What did the TikToker say to the bully? What? Whoa there. Okay. Okay, so next up to try to make Brett and I laugh is Ben. So, so you're she's already that. laughing. Really? Yeah. She's good, she's good. She's already laughing. You're gonna need to say, um, what can I get for you today? <laughs> what can I get for you today? <laughs> can I uh can I get a shot of sauce? <laughs> 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 I she's laughing! I'm next up. Alright, this is also an inside joke. Oh no, okay. This is like the top of the, the, the car seat. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh my god! Alright, all right, so, based off of the jokes or whatever, I think that since Ben and Andrew kind of took it a step farther, so I might have to delete Derek from this competition. Oh, it's okay. Alright, so we are down to the final two. This is the last round. Yeah, so basically, you guys are gonna be writing either a poem or a song about Lexi. You have uh, oh, like a few minutes. Alright, good all right. luck, guys. Okay, so Ben and Andrew have their poems or songs ready, and again, I don't have a say. Let's hear it. Lexi. Oh, Lexi, you look mighty sexy. <laughs> what? I'm not done. Keep me on my toes while your brother keeps saying no. In my heart, there is no more room, but Brent still finds the broom. Oh, oh my god! Maybe okay. one day you will say yay, but for now, my love will stay. Oh my gosh! Wow. Beautiful. I want to hear Andrew's poem. All right, next is uh, Andrew. Mine's like really short, you know, but it means a lot, you know. So. Aww. I cheered, I rooted, but Lexi, you still love me so wounded. <laughs> 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 
for those of you who haven't checked out Andrew's new song yet, it's called <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, those were both pretty good. Wow. Uh, okay, so based off of the uh, the poems. Oh, I hate to say this. Uh oh. Really uh oh. I guess different. Ben's poem was better. Oh, what? Wait, what was the point of this video? I don't know. What the heck was this? This is stupid. Wait, like, literally. <laughs> I'm not saying though that Ben is like a good, like a perfect match. Yeah, you are. I'm saying yes, you are. All right, you guys. That is it for this week's video. So Ben is the winner. Are you excited, Ben? Uh, oh, I'm actually wait. very excited. Look at poor Andrew in the back. For this week's video, I have 10 guys here. But only one of them is Andrew. This is Andrew. We've been best friends for four years now, so today I'm putting my relationship with him to the test by seeing if I'm able to pick him out of a group of 10 guys. And at the end of the video, the final two boys will kiss Lexi in order for her to determine which is Andrew. You know what, if you're Andrew, just raise your hand. Oh. oh, okay. Let's just get started. All right, so Andrew is very flirtatious. So for the first round, all of you guys will say your best pickup line to Lexi. If you have a bad pickup line, you're probably not mm. Andrew. And two guys will be getting out this round, so good luck. All right, boy number one. Have you already ordered because you're hot and I'm ready? Um, I uh, I don't know if I liked that one. But come on, like I have pizza here too. Oh, you have pizza? Oh, I can actually yeah. smell the pizza. Oh. Okay, okay, that was okay. Uh, Lexi, you're so sexy that that my zipper's falling for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's pretty good. Next. And by the way, guys, this is how I'm hearing the boys in my earpiece. I lost a quarter and I lost a nickel, but I think I just found a dime. That one wasn't too bad, but it also wasn't great, but okay. Lexi, is there a mirror in your pants? Because I can see myself in them. That one was just gross. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that one could have been Andrew. That one was pretty gross. Boy number five. Lexi, you remind me of the 20 letters in the alphabet. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. Oh, how could I forget? You are a QT. <laughs> That's still only 25. You're, you're missing one. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine. I'm sorry. I, I could give you the D later. No. Huh? Are you Russian? No, I'm not Russian. Because I'm Russian to get you home in bed with me. All right, video's over. Maybe Come on. this was a bad idea. If I could rearrange the alphabets, I would keep you and I separated. What? Hey, I don't think number seven likes me. I don't. Why is he here? Is that Ben? <laughs> Can you grab my arm? Just so I can show all these other boys what it feels like to be touched by an angel. Okay. Oh. That one was very nice. That was very sweet. Uh, I'm writing, a, I'm, oh my God. I'm writing a term paper on the finer things in life and I was wondering if I can interview you. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> Will you let him interview you? I don't think so. Okay, you can get out, you can get out of here. All right, last contestant. I normally don't ask girls stuff like this until they tell me they're pregnant, but what's your name? Oh uh, my God. All right, that's it. Uh, you're, get out of here. You're out of here. I just eliminated him. Thank God that was number 10. Let's go to the elimination room. All right, so Lexi, after all of those pickup lines, which ones do you think are not Andrew? Okay, I have to eliminate two people right now, so I'm going to go with number two and number six. I don't think you guys are Andrew. All right, so number two is not Andrew. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank goodness this wasn't Andrew, but let's see if number six is. All right, so number six is not Andrew. Thank goodness I'm on the right track, so let's move on to the next challenge. All right, so for this next round, Lexi will be smelling every one of the guys, and Lexi, Andrew has a pretty distinct smell. It's gonna be kind of hard to pick him out out of all these guys. Okay, I'm ready, let's do it. All right, here we go. Give a nice big sniff. Okay, um, interesting. All right, Lexi, next contestant. Okay. I feel like some of these guys are trying to throw me off. You smell very, um, very strongly of cologne. Interesting. <coughs> oh my god! You smell like throw up. Dude, I haven't showered in like three days. Oh my god, number eight smells even worse. These guys smell really bad. You do know that I'm trying to find Andrew, not Ben, right? Oh. Okay. Alright, contestant number nine. Put my head into someone's armpit. What'd These guys smell so bad. Oh, you made him cry. Oh. You made number nine cry. I'm sorry, Andrew. Oh my god, you smell like water. Like you smell like straight water. Like if water had a smell. Literally like the jugs of water. I've come to a conclusion, I think. All right, based off of just their scent, who would you like to eliminate? I think that number four and number eight are not Andrew. All right, so number four is not Andrew. Woo! 
Oh. Number eight is also not Andrew. Okay, you guys, I am doing so good, and you need to shower. It's not that bad. No, like, no, it's, it's bad. bad. You should go. All right, so the boys were asked to bring and model an outfit that they think that you would wear. I feel like Andrew knows my style pretty well, so let's see these outfits. Okay, outfit number one. This is a bear costume. It has a tail. I would never wear this, but I could see Andrew trying to like make a joke out of this, possibly. But let's see the next outfit. <laughs> Huh? What is this person wearing? Okay, but I do have to say, I do wear black a lot. I wear dresses a lot. He paired it with a little black cardigan. I don't hate this. It looks like a grandma. He was on the right track. This actually looks like something I would wear. Um, the crop top, the cargos, the green, everything about it is something I would wear. This outfit, um, you know what? The leather pants, the white crop top. I could see myself wearing this. Hopefully, I would look better in it. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, contestant number nine. I I don't think contestant number nine got the memo. Um, this isn't something I would wear. I don't know why he's wearing this. Huh. Ah! Oh my God. What are you talking about, Lexi? I love you. I want to be with you. I want to stay with you. I want to have a beautiful family with you, please. I don't think we need an elimination round. We all know that's not Andrew. For the fourth round, the boys were asked to bring me a meal that they think I would enjoy. I'm pretty picky and Andrew knows that, so let's see what these boys brought me. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is okay. This is really, this is really nice. Okay, this is actually crazy. This thing comes with so many different pieces of sushi. I don't even like know where to start. This thing comes with so many different pieces of sushi. I do love sushi, so, oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's feeding me, okay, okay. Wow, that's really good. I don't want any more. Or oh, is this for you? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, next meal. Okay, contestant number three. What do you have for me? Wow. Oh, this is literally just a plate of french fries. I do like french fries, but this isn't like really a meal and they're cold. Um, but yeah. I'm not eating these. Okay, contestant number five. What did you bring me? Oh my God. Okay, I literally love grilled cheeses, so. And a Baja Blast <laughs> freeze. This is like my favorite meal. Like if I could pick something, it would be these two things. Good job, contestant number five. Okay, contestant number seven. Ooh. What? Contestant number seven, I don't eat meat and you brought me a steak. Okay, either they don't like me or they don't know me at all. But I can't eat this. Well, so. if you're not gonna eat it, I'll eat it. See ya. Um, yeah, you, okay, thanks for nothing. You can leave. Okay, contestant number 10. Oh, what is this? This is, you know, I don't know what this is. All I know is that this is disgusting. Is this supposed to be a sandwich? Why was it in your pocket? Okay, you can just leave now, actually. I don't, yeah, you can go. All right, Lexi, it's time to eliminate two more guys. Okay, after that food round, I definitely have come to a conclusion. I'm going to be going with number seven and number 10. Number seven has been trying to sabotage me this entire time, so I think it's time for him to go. All right, let's say goodbye to not Andrew. You! <laughs> it's bad. Come on. Sam was trying to sabotage me this entire time. I knew it. Obviously. You know what? I'm glad to be eliminated. Bye. And don't even get me started about number 10. That sandwich was disgusting. Shame on you, number 10. Because number 10 is also not Andrew. Okay. Okay, we are down to the final three. Andrew is one of three people. We're getting close. So Andrew's best subject is definitely not math. So today, we have a pop quiz. Oh. All right, so you guys have 30 seconds to solve this problem. Whoever gets it right gets a surprise. Go. All right, you guys, it's 30 seconds is up. Let's see your answers. Okay, contestant number one got the answer $14.73. Huh. This had nothing to do with money. I am. Um, I don't even know. That could definitely be Andrew. Okay, Ooh. contestant number three. The right answer. He showed his work and everything, and he circled his answer. Mm -hmm. Correct. And contestant number five, his answer is false. This, um, it wasn't a true or false, it was it was, it was was an equation. Yeah. Number it, nine. That wasn't like a... Contestant number three, you're the only person that got this right, which tells me that you're not Andrew. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Dang it, bro. Dom, oh. you're too smart to be Andrew today. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I should have got it wrong on purpose. See ya. Later, guys. Bye. Get out. All right, so Andrew's kissed Lexi on the cheek before, so for this last round, Lexi will get a kiss on the cheek from both contestants. All right, number five, go ahead and kiss her on the cheek. And uh, keep it on the cheek. Okay, that's Andrew, like I already know. 
Okay, well, number one. No, right? like, like I, this. I don't need to. I don't need number one to number kiss one. me. Like I know that was Andrew. Number one kiss. I know I see. I got it. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You took your blindfold out before we ended the game. Yeah. I know. I had my answer and I got it right. How do you know so well? That wasn't fair to my friend Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy, I don't need to kiss you. Like I already. Let did. him kiss you. <laughs> This week's video, there are 10 guys behind this curtain, and I'm gonna be going on a series of blind dates with all of them. For the first round, I'm gonna be judging the boys based off of their outfits, but before we get to that, Jeremy, if you're behind this curtain, just leave now. What the f All right, now let's get started. All right, so we're starting off with shoes. Guy number one, your shoes, I, I actually like these. They're kind of cool. Guy number two, feels very basic. I feel like a lot of guys wear Air Forces. That's not, it's not a bad thing, it's just playing it safe. And they're a little dirty. Oh man, what are those? Guy number three. I don't know how I feel about these. They're like kind of, um, they're... <sighs> I don't even know how to, what to say. Guy number four is wiggling his toes for me. So these are just some socks with some sandals. I'm not into that. Guy number five. Uh, I don't like those at all. Okay, guy number six. I hate this. Like this is the worst thing you could have worn here today. The socks with the sandals, but like not just socks with sandals. It's like socks with the sandals that like dig into like the big toe. Okay, guy number seven shoes are very. Uh, I don't like these. They're just running shoes. They give me kind of like dad vibes. Like my dad wears running shoes with everything. Okay, these last two guys are pretty much wearing the same shoe. One looks a little more yellow. One looks a little more white. Same thing. After looking at the rest of their shoes, it was clear to me who I wanted. To send home. Okay, I've come to a conclusion. Based off of their shoes alone, I'm going to be eliminating guy number three. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna go hit the, the van store real quick. No, 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 no. Literally, like, it was just, like, the shoes I didn't like, but I actually like the rest of the outfit. Okay, so now I can see their full outfits, so let's see if these guys have good style. By the way, the guys have a voice changer, so I have no idea who any of these guys are. Okay, guy number one, I actually like this outfit. It's very, nothing too crazy, but also, like, it's not bad. Describe your style using one word. Like, Fresh. Fresh, okay. Oh, I actually really like this outfit. I'm a big fan of camo. I like the jeans. Describe your style to me using one word. Simple. Simple. Yeah, I agree. Seeing your full outfit, I like it. It actually goes with the socks and the sandals. I hate to say it. And I like the shoulder bag. I say my whole style is radical. Radical. Okay, I like that word. I wouldn't agree with you, but I like the word. Guy number five, I like the upper half of this outfit. I don't love the pants and the shoes. I feel like if you did different pants and shoes, it would work. What do you have to say? Wow. This outfit is definitely screaming at me. This outfit, it's interesting. Your your sweatshirt's a little dirty. Uh, there's like paint on it or something. I just hate the jeans with the socks and the sandals. Describe your style. Chill. He did not care when he picked this outfit. All right, guy number seven, please step forward. God, actually just step back. We're gonna move move on. Guy number eight. I mean, I think we, we told you to wear your best outfit today. I don't know if, I just, I don't see a shirt. One word to describe your style. Scorpion, you want to touch it? No, no, please, I'm good. Okay, guy number nine. I like this outfit. It's very, oh wow. I didn't see the sparkly belt. I actually like this outfit. I like everything about this. How would you describe your style? Belt. Belt? Belt. I don't like these guys. Okay, I'm ready to eliminate another person, and that person, based off of their outfit and their style, is going to be guy number seven. Oh my god, Dom. You know, the one day I wear these pants and these pants. <laughs> you know, like, what are the odds of that? Dom, I, I really hate this. What's on your forearm? Uh, this is my watch. Why is it up there? Uh, it fits. I don't know. I couldn't figure out how to like close it up. It's too it's too big. It's too big right here. Thanks for coming. Just leave. I don't I can't look at you anymore. Three people have been eliminated. We are down to seven guys, so let's move on to round two. So for the next round, the boys are on the other side of this curtain. Basically, I'm gonna be asking them a series of questions. Based off of their answers, I'm gonna decide if they're a red flag or a green flag. So let's see if any of these boys are toxic. Are you still friends with your ex? Aren't you still friends with your ex? Okay, <clears throat> that is a red flag. What do you mean that's a red flag? You're a red flag. I think you're the red flag. You're the one bringing that up, so that you're, you're the, the one flag. bringing it up. You asked, not me. Guy number one is already arguing with me. I think we can work through this argument. I don't want to. You're a walking red flag. Maybe you're the walking red flag. Let's see. Guy number two, would you want to share your location with me? Definitely not. Okay, what about your phone password? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that either. It's kind of a red flag, but like also I wouldn't want someone like watching my every move. So it's kind of a green flag because I wouldn't want that. Do you have a girl best friend? No ma'am, I do not. Hmm. 
Okay, that's a green flag. Okay, guy number five. Would you want to sign a prenup? No. That's a green flag. If I asked you to unfollow someone on Instagram, would you do it? Yeah. Okay, that's a green flag. Guy number eight. What is your body count? And you have to tell the truth. This is about compatibility here. 36. Not that that like really matters, but it's that's kind of a red flag. They love the scorpion. Ew. Guy number nine. Would you be okay with me having a guy best friend? I wouldn't care. What if I didn't want you to have a girl best friend? It'd be your best friend. Huh. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> After this round, I've decided I'm going to be eliminating guy number one. Oh, guy number one, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fine. We had a little argument back there. What happened? Yeah, right off the bat, we're already arguing, so I feel like it just isn't going to work out. It was nice to meet you. Oh. Oh my Yeah, I'll God. catch you later, all right? Why'd you bring the sugar guy here? Didn't find anyone else. Entire cake for lunch. Yeah, well. The next guy I will be eliminating is guy number eight. Hey, hey. I think, you know. No, you just asked me the wrong questions. Okay, what's yeah. a question you would want me to ask you? I can like backflip. Okay, go ahead and backflip for me then. If I pull off a backflip, can I stay in the competition? Okay, well, if you can do a backflip, I will consider. Oh! That was good. I, I wouldn't say that was a backflip, so you, you're you still out of the competition. I'm sorry. For round three, I'm here with my ex-boyfriend. Whoa! <laughs> so basically, I'm going to be giving the boys scenarios, and Ben is going to be deciding if their answers are good or bad. I'm here to tell the honest truth, because I know from experience. All right, first scenario, guy number two. Say you go to Starbucks, and they get my order wrong. What do you do? I'll make sure to send it back. I'll tell them to give me the right order. Uh, I think you're screwed either way, honestly, buddy. If he took my order back, I'd be very grateful. Guy number four, what would you do if I asked you to get a tattoo of my name? I think I'd have to think long and hard about it. You seem a little but, iffy, uh, bro. If she's asking, I would just go ahead and do it. You don't want to You don't want to make her mad. Man. He's acting like I'm crazy. Ah! It looks so good. No. Oh my god. And I feel like you don't love it. Guy number five. If you ask to go hang out with the boys and I say, it's fine. Does it mean A, it's actually fine? B, you can go, but I'll probably be mad about it. C, you probably shouldn't go. Or a D, start counting your blessings. I choose A. You seem pretty chill. And I mean, I like my guy time. Oh, bro. Ben, I would be fine with it. Oh, I, I <laughs> no, you're done. She said it's fine. It is everything but fun. Hey, you so, know what? Ben does know me pretty well and he's not wrong here. Guy number six. If I were to turn into a worm, would you still like me? What type of worm are we talking here? Earthworm, no. okay, gummy no, bear? You're done. You already answered the question. Worm. Gummy worm. <laughs> <laughs> I got me one. I'll eat that up. Keep my berries in that. I think guy number six is trying to redeem himself and he's just digging the hole. Yeah, deeper. it's just going, it's just going way deeper. Yes. You ask me where I want to eat and I say, I don't know, you choose. What are you choosing? I'm gonna come up with 10 options. I'm gonna present them to you. Whichever one sounds the best, I'll choose that. That sounds like it'd be a right answer, but honestly, you should just know already what she wants to eat. So Ben is gonna be eliminating two people based off of their answers. Ben, do you know who you wanna eliminate? Yes, but do you trust me? No, I don't. I feel like you might sabotage oh. me. I'm gonna go with I'm number five. That man said, if it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's, it's fine. It's fine, right? I think it's fine means the opposite, right? These guys are so mean when you eliminate them. And the next guy that I will be eliminating is guy number six yeah. said he wouldn't love you even if you were a worm. Yeah, that was weird. Anything he's probably built like a worm. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, Lexi? <laughs> like, would you still love me if I was a worm? No, Andrew, oh, no, oh, don't. We don't oh, need to. Be, oh. oh, Andrew, you don't even have to be a worm. I won't. I wouldn't love you. you wouldn't love her if she was a worm, but you would respect you her. But she is a worm, though. You're a little earthworm. <laughs> right. Thank you, Ben, for helping me out with this round. So for this next round, I'm going to be in this control room because I sent my dad in to talk to these boys and eliminate someone. So basically, this round is completely out of my hands, which is scary because my dad is not the best at dealing with people who potentially want to date me. And he tends to embarrass me. So this was probably one of the worst ideas I've ever had, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm also going to be wearing this blindfold so that I'm not seeing the boys, but I am still hearing them. My name's uh, John. I'm Lexi's dad. I'm Danny. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. What makes you want to date my daughter? I feel like I'm at this time in my life where I want to have fun, you know? I don't know, be the right person to just have fun with. Someone that's not afraid to get tickled, someone that's not afraid to tickle me. 
This is off to a really bad start. If you get to take Lexi on a date, would you pay for it or would you split it, the bill with her or how would you work that? I would pay for it, especially since like I'm the one that would be asking her out. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Just wanted to let you know a couple things about Lexi that you may not be aware of. One, she snores quite loudly. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, I mean, I think just as long as it doesn't go all night. It's pretty much all night. Oh. Okay. I don't snore, okay? Let's just get that out of the way right now. What do you do for a living? I actually own a multi-million dollar company. We sell crazy gadgets for crazy okay. things. And now nah, I'm just playing around. So you don't have a job? No, sir, no. I don't. Okay. You're walking up to the car and um, she's getting ready to get in. Do you get the door for her or do you let her get her own door? I get out of the car, I go to the house, you know, I ring on the doorbell. I'll keep the door locked until I'm there. I'll unlock it for her and then open it. Wow, he said he would walk up to my door. I think it's safe to say number nine is a gentleman. Every once in a while she'll wake up in the middle of the night and she just screams. Like nightmares? Yeah, kind of like a nightmare type thing. Huh, I think I can put up with that. Oh my God, I literally don't scream in my sleep. After the date, are you gonna go in for the kiss or what are your plans? I don't think I'd be comfortable doing that on the first date. No? No. Okay. He said he doesn't think it would be appropriate to kiss on a first date and I love that because I think the exact same way. I mean, I get these gigs, you know, once gave this homeless dude a tattoo and he paid me 40 bucks for it. Tattoos? Yeah. Okay. I get her coffee in the morning and I bring it to her. Let's just say you win this competition. Uh, would you be able to go get her coffee every day? Is that something that you're willing to do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, I'm actually glad that my dad asked this question because I do need to know this. Like if a guy's not gonna get me Starbucks every morning, then he's not my guy. So she has a couple of brothers, I'm sure you're aware of that. Would you mind hanging out with Brent? You know, Brent's a little weird. That might be where I have to draw the line if oh, he's draw a little line. weird, yeah. Oh, that's good, I guess. I don't blame him for not wanting to hang out with Brent. Hell, I don't even want to hang out with Brent. What if I just like make her my own coffee? Oh, you mean like get the instant stuff? Yeah, and... so it's not as expensive. Oh, you know what? That won't work. It has to be Starbucks. Oh, no, no. I can't do at-home coffee. Well, Danny, uh, thanks for uh, letting me talk to you for a minute here. Yeah, of course. I appreciate it. I honestly hope that she doesn't choose you. Oh, yeah, good luck. Uh, good luck. Yeah, I think that went pretty well in my opinion. Can't wait to be a part of the family. I'm not really too sure how well it went. He said I might have to hang out with Brent, and I do not want to do that. Wait, do you think she actually like Screams at night. Okay, we're down to three boys right now. Sean, Yahir, and Danny. Dad, please eliminate Danny. I think it's pretty obvious who we're gonna send home today. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Wait, me? maybe next. No, uh, Danny, it's you. What? Yeah, oh no. my god. My handshake was firm. Yeah, it was. was firm oh. handshake. Okay, we'll see you later. Thank goodness my dad eliminated Danny. Definitely made the right decision there. Now we are down to the final two. Let's move on to the last round. For round five, I wanted to have a face-to-face -face dinner date with each of the boys. But what they don't know is I will be having a robber come in to crash the date, and we're gonna see if either of them would protect me. Hey, Sean, well, thank you for showing up, and now it's we're just gonna me. have dinner here. Hey, this is crazy. This is like the first time I'm seeing your face. Yeah, finally. I wanna know more about you, so tell me more about yourself. I do Muay Thai, it's like kickboxing. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's, um, that's very cool. I'm currently a manager at Home Depot. Wow, that's very impressive. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very good with my hands. That's perfect, because I always need like a lot of things fixed. What do you like to do? I like to film videos. It sounds weird, but I actually like to work. Well, maybe by the end of this, you could be my handyman and my just man. I would love nothing more than that. Yeah, it's like one of my favorites. This is a Put it down, put it down. Hold on. <laughs> we don't want any. <laughs> this is a setup. And she would be there. I would be literally like in my grave by now. That's why you gotta do Muay Thai. You'll protect yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> we did this to see how you would react to here, and you protected me. You did a really good job. <laughs> so he's not actually trying to kill us? I don't, I don't think so, but he's doing kind of weird things right now. You really didn't do anything? Yeah. My bad. All right, so you two have been very solid this entire time. Through every round, you guys are my top picks. But when it came to this last round, I think it's very clear to see that we have a winner. And that winner is Jahir. Woo! <laughs> oh, right. oh my god, okay. Okay, <laughs> we, we're where, leaving? Where, where are we, we going? Where are we going first? <laughs> Wait, I, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I guess you won't be going to
my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so for this week's video, I will be testing some of my guy friends, as well as you, Brent, on feminine products. Ooh, I know a lot about feminine products. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> if you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now, and let's get this video started. Let's go. All right, you guys, before I quiz some of the boys on girly products, I wanted to do a little prank. So I've seen this all over TikTok. I'm sure you guys have seen it too, but I will be yelling at my mom in front of some of our friends. Oh, great. Are you ready? No. You better be! <laughs> Just like that. All right, the first person that we're gonna be pranking is Pearson, so are you ready? I'm ready. I just, I don't know why you have, like you always have something to say. Like the video that I'm doing is the video that I'm doing. I'm just trying to help like I know, but, it's, giving, but you're not helping. I'm giving you No, you're not helping. Sorry, my mom's like trying to give advice on a video that I like already have planned out. But. All right, you guys, so today I will be asking my mom questions that you're too afraid to ask. So are you ready, mom? Yes. Where is the energy? Oh my gosh. Like, I'm... come on, I put so much work into these videos and you give me no what? energy. We didn't even start, I'm well, just but saying. but I'm asking okay, you, you if you're ready. Stop. You need to stop. I'm asking you're... you if you're ready and, and I you're like, yes. yeah? And you need to stop yelling at me, that is rude. That is rude. No, you're rude for not giving me any energy. And I don't Pearson is waiting, anymore. stop. Well, Pearson can wait, Pearson can wait even longer. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, this is so embarrassing. It's I'm embarrassing. So emb it's embarrassing for you. No, it's embarrassing because you are a little bratty child. For you. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so you guys didn't just have an argument. No. Wait, what? This is all planned. I've never heard you talk like that to anyone. That's like <laughs> your mother. I was like, uh, is, it, is it hot in here? <laughs> oh my god. So are we still going to do this? No, we're not going to still do this. <laughs> questions that you're too afraid to ask. Oh my gosh, this is Don't so interrupt me! I wasn't done talking! Why I, are you interrupting me mid-sentence? You always say add something. That's yeah, but I wasn't done the... even explaining what I'm about to do. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Jeremy, you stay out of this. Don't yell at Jeremy. I'll do, well, I'll I'll do whatever I want. This is really, really rude, Lexi. Stop. Alright, okay. hey, let's just, I, I got some questions ready. Let's no, do... you shut up, Jeremy. Oh my god. What did I do? What? You just told me to shut up. <laughs> this is a prank, Jeremy. Oh my god. Why'd you get mad at me? The prank is yelling at my mom in front of my friends, and I started yelling at Jeremy. Bro, do you see how red my face is right now? I'm very sorry, Jeremy, for making you uncomfortable. It really was funny, though. Oh my god. That was so awkward. <laughs> I thought it was. Why are you smiling like that in my <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Lexi's mean. <laughs> yeah, you better leave, Jeremy. Alright, you guys, so I will be asking my mom questions that you're too afraid to ask. Um, are you ready, Mom? I'm ready. Wait, why are you wearing black? What do you mean? I told you not to wear black. No, you Lexi, didn't. I'm wearing black. So no, you don't talk she's, to me. Stop. Lexi. You're gonna wear black and I'm wearing black too? Lexi, don't talk to your mom like that. I'll talk to her however I stop. want. Stop. I'm not kidding. Stop. Lexi, I know you're not that mean to your mom. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, I'm not. <laughs> this is pretty. I was like, I know you would never talk to your mom like that. You were the sweetest person. <laughs> I was just I'm about to, you know, fight you. Because yes. I wasn't gonna let you fight your mom. <laughs> All right, we are here with Andrew. Yo. So Andrew, I will be quizzing you on some girly products. Okay. okay. Um, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Oh God. So I feel like you should kind of know these by now, you know? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, first product. That is a toner. No, 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 I'm tripping. What do you think that is? This is a, uh, what's it called? Like a foundation, like, <laughs> it's called a swoosh. <laughs> huh? Just go in your butt. Oh my god! Oh no, it's from when you have a buddy nose. Oh my god. So this is a beauty blender. Oh my god, yeah, it was, okay. Now you know. Now I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, beauty blender. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and basically you like apply makeup with this. I don't know if you I, you, you should use that because I did put it in my nose. Ew! Okay. Alright, next product. <laughs> what in the so world? So you can feel on there like the down one side. Oh. <laughs> ding ding ding! <laughs> Woo! I think they go on your eyes. You put them on your eyes? Oh my god. Oh wow, and he's demonstrating for us. For your nipples. It is. Ding ding ding. You know what they're called? Nipple. <laughs> no, these are called nipple pasties. Nipple pasties? Yes. Okay. So they go on your nipples to oh, like cover that? your nipples. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Bro, what? It feels like I have no nipples. Yeah. Ah, I'm taking this off. Alright, next thing. 
This is a tricky one. Okay. Oh! <laughs> he has no idea. I don't know, is it to get milk out? <laughs> yeah, it is, huh? You put on the end and you go. What are you doing? <laughs> What is this? I'm gonna say it's for cooking. <laughs> Why would it be for cooking? So this is a menstrual cup. So basically when you're on your period, you like put it up there and then it like gets all the blood and then you like pull it okay, out. I don't need any details. You so. wash it and then you right. reuse it. Alright, all right, that's good. I, I and then understand. you rinse it out. I understand. And then you use it again. <laughs> I understand what it's for. We can we can move on. Those. I actually use the other uh, for your eyelashes. Oh wow! Eyelash curler. Wow! The scissors. <laughs> this is an eyelash curler. Huh? Yeah. So you like do this and it like. Wow. Oh. Okay. That goes right up your nose. No, I'm kidding. Yep. <laughs> now, uh, this is a uh, tampon. Mm -hmm. That is a tampon. Oh my god! You're doing pretty good. That's a tampon. Uh -huh. I'll demonstrate it too for this one. What? <laughs> <laughs> So basically, you like insert it like this, what? and it expands. You see Whoa. how it expands? Oh, what the? Yeah. Whoa, what just happened? And then it expands. What? Nice thing. Oh, is this the one that you bought last time that we used? Sandra! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a pregnancy test. That's a pregnancy test? It is. So what does it say? Oh my god, you're pregnant? Mm hmm. So what does it say? Pregnant. It's fake. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm not pregnant then. That was that would be the weirdest way to tell someone you're pregnant. Alright. That. Oh. Then you put face masks, then you put stuff on your face. Wow. Is it for like massaging? It's for your face. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's called a jade roller. Jade roller. Kind of yeah. like deep puffs your face. Oh wow. Okay, Andrew. That right there. Uh, mm -hmm. It helps like your hair like get shinier and it makes it grow. I know this one. It's to you put on and then it like makes your hair fall off. Why is he doing so good? I know what nair is. Shampoo. You don't want to put this in your hair. What is it? It's literally hair removal. Oh. <laughs> so this removes hair. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Andrew, so those were all of the girly products that I had for you, and you ended up getting four out of the seven correct. Honestly, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It says hey. 57%. Thank you so much for. <laughs> So you got five out of seven correct. Which That's is pretty good. A 71%. Oh my god, round of applause for it's me. It's not bad. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that you knew these. So congratulations. You do get to keep all of the feminine products. I don't think I'll need the feminine products. <laughs> All right, Ben, those are all of the products that I have for you. Yes. And you ended up getting a three and a half out of seven. Yes, 50%. It's not good. It's better than I thought. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today, Ben will be meeting my new boyfriend, Andrew. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> okay, you guys, so obviously this is going to be a prank because Andrew and I are really good friends. But for today, we are going to prank Ben by giving him the idea that we're together now. <laughs> so one of the reasons that I wanted to do this video is because Ben and I took a lie detector test a few days ago and he said that he kissed another girl since we've broken up. Obviously, no hard feelings, but I thought it would only be fair to prank him. So if you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. Woo! Okay, you guys, to start this off, I'm going to go pick up Ben, play truth or drink hot sauce with him, and I'm gonna ask him some questions, and in the middle of asking him questions, Andrew's going to call me, be super flirty with me, to get Ben a little bit suspicious. Let's do it. Hi, Ben. Hi. How are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, I'm So good. what are we doing? Okay, Ben, so, as you know, we took a lie detector test a few days ago. Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't remind yeah, me. Yeah, um, I wasn't too happy with some of your answers, but obviously we're not together anymore. It's not that big of a deal, but I wanted to ask you a few more questions over hey, some, some hot sauce. Why do we have to do this? So we are going to play truth or drink hot sauce. I've gotten exposed enough this week. Are we good? Like, No, we're not good. We're not good yet. So basically, Ben, either you answer my question or you have to drink the hot sauce, right, okay? Cool. Stop! <laughs> okay. All right, are you ready for your first question? Yes. Okay, Ben, besides kissing other girls. I want to know what you've really been up to these past few weeks. Girl, not plural. Stop. 
<laughs> not girls. We don't know that. Um, last couple weeks, I've just been, I don't know, what do you want me to say? I've just been in my room, chilling, making videos. I guess I kissed a girl. I, it was on the, it was on the, it was on the cheek. You just said. It was on the cheek. You just said it was on the no, no, lip, it was the cheek. On, on the cheek, that's it. That's all I've been up to. All right, I'll take that. Next question, Ben. Do you ever stalk my Instagram? <gasps> Stop! Oh my God. No comment. No comment? I feel like you doing that basically is telling me no, that you stalk my Instagram. I just don't want to tell you the answer. Oh my God. I'm, I'm gonna need some water. No, it's too bad you don't get water. I have another question for you. All right, what is it? <sighs> Last question. Have you told anyone the real reason why we broke up? Yeah? What do you mean the real reason? The real reason. There is no real reason. Oh, there's not? Hold on, Andrew's calling me. Hey. What's up, Lucy? Nothing. I'm filming with Ben right now. You're filming with who? Ben. Oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> um, well, are we still hanging out later? Yeah, I'm down. All right, well, uh, I'll be there soon, all right? Okay, see you soon. Okay, see ya. All right, bye. Um, yeah. should we just move on to the next question? Sure. Okay. And then is that it? Why are you drinking? <laughs> Cause I'm just, just weird, bro. All right, what's the next question? Okay. All right, you guys, I'm I'm starting to feel kind of bad, but we're going to keep this prank going. So a long time ago, I stole one of Ben's sweatshirts. I've had it, you know, ever since. He's been asking for it back. So Andrew's going to put on the sweatshirt, and then we're going to go tell Ben that just us two are going out to eat. This might be kind of awkward. Hopefully he notices the sweatshirt. I feel like Ben's going to fight me, yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> ben. Andrew and I are gonna go eat. Do you want anything? Can I go? I think we were just gonna go. But we could bring you back something. Yeah, we got you. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I can't just like come. We'll literally be like 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll be right back. Okay. Brandon, you want something? Uh, just give me a nice coffee. Nice okay. Coffee. Yeah. Do you want a nice coffee or? No. Where'd okay. you get that pleasure? Oh. Lexi on the bar. It I gave just, it to him. It's pretty cozy. Though. That's sick. I like, like that. It? Yeah, I know, right? Pretty sure. That was mine. Really? Yeah, I just gave him the sweatshirt. But we're gonna go, and when I come back, I wanted to film something with like you and Andrew. Bring it down. Pretty sure that's mine. The sweatshirt? Oh, yeah. uh, was it? Oh. Sorry. Let's go. All right. We'll give it back to you when when we're back. All right. Go. All right. Bye. 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 Uh, give me the iced coffee. We will. Okay. Wow. I might need to get that broom out again and start hitting Andrew with it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I feel really bad. I do too. I yeah. really do. I mean, like, this is Ben's sweatshirt. I'll give it back to him once we tell him it's a prank. Everything's gonna be fine. But Andrew and I are actually gonna go get food, and then when we come back, we have another prank planned. Woo! Okay, Andrew and I just got back from getting food, and now I'm going to film a little video with Ben and Andrew where I give them early Christmas gifts. Let's just say that Andrew's gift is a lot better than Ben's. Ooh, yeah! Let's do it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I thought it'd be very fun to do a video where I give you guys little early Christmas gifts. Let's do it. So, you like what? Yeah, actually. Okay. So you guys sit down and I'll bring you your gifts. Okay. Cool. All right, so the first present is going to go to Andrew. So Andrew, are you ready for your present? Oh, I am so ready. Okay. Wow. Here, was, here it is. That was really big. Why is it so okay. big? Whoa. Woo! What? Merry Christmas, Andrew. Thank you. This is your gift. Did I you wrap it? Or? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Open it up. It was Lexi's idea. Really? Yes. No way! What? Oh, Holy crap! Yo! That's sick. Yeah, so you like it? I love it. Oh yeah, Ben's next. No, so I'm gonna go get Ben's present now. Okay, Ben, are you ready for your gift? Yeah. Okay, here it is. Do you don't need help by carrying it? No, I'm all good. So. Where's the gift? For you, I got you a five dollar Starbucks gift card. No way! Because I know that you love Starbucks. I, I, I don't even like Starbucks. You don't drink coffee. But. But I thought I'm maybe. Thank you, Lexi. You're welcome. They have apple juice, sir. Merry Christmas. That's awesome. Happy New Year, Lexi. Honestly, I feel like you went a little overboard with that one, but. I overboard. really <laughs> went over my budget on that one. I did. Yeah. But I mean, this will give me one coffee, so I appreciate it. Oh. Um. Thanks, Lexi. You're welcome. <laughs> Merry early Christmas. Thanks. Yeah, let's it up. Alright, let's hook up to PlayStation 5 too. I'm so excited. Let's no. go. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, so Andrew and I booked Christmas carolers to come to the house today, and we're gonna play it off as if Andrew got these Christmas carolers for me. And Ben has no idea, but these Christmas carolers are going to break the news to him through song that this was all a prank. <laughs> let's do it. You guys hear that? Wait, what is that? It's like in the front. 
Surprise, Lexi. I got these Christmas carolers for you. Did you? Clap because that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Bro, oh did you hear those lyrics? I made those lyrics. Oh. <laughs> it was sorry, it was very well performed. I'm sorry. The lyrics were a little tough. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. I'm glad it was a prank. <laughs> He was about to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. Oh my oh, god. Man, that's so you funny. All right, you guys. That is going to be it for this week's video. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, too. Okay. We're really sorry, but it deserved it for kissing another girl. Oh my god. <laughs>